Well, hey, fuckers. Happy Monday. Guess what time it is. Hey, Sharon, what's the tea? Let's find out what the tea is for you fuckers today. Tap that shit. And I mean tap it and think about the situation. Spirit team, what is the tea for my collective on this fine Monday morning? Okay, spirits are showing me someone in this connection, in this, in your realm, physical realm, or even your energy, there is someone suffering in silence with unspoken desires, real true feelings, and broken dreams. So I feel like someone has some unspoken desires and feelings for someone, but it didn't work for whatever reason. And I feel like whoever this is is suffering in silence. Yeah, this was somebody you definitely wanted to be in a committed relationship with. Someone you thought, you know, that you saw the long haul with. Uh, someone you wanted to commit to, possibly even, you know, get together and, you know, really culminate. Um, I do feel like this, this is something that was not reciprocated. Yeah, I feel like this is someone from your past. This is someone that you may have, may not have been involved with, but it's definitely someone you've been clinging to or cling to, um, whether in a physical sense or an emotional sense. I feel like this is somebody you've been hanging on to for a hot minute, and it's definitely someone from your past. Now, I one of the biggest issues here is like I said, th there was a falling out with this connection somehow, some way. And I feel like it ended abruptly for you or whoever this person in this collective to be so clingy to someone that's where it's not reciprocated, to where you're suffering in silence with unspoken desires and real true feelings. I do feel like this person, you know, charmed or used you or love bombed you to penetrate your boundaries. <laughs> penetrate your boundaries. <laughs> You feel where I'm going with this? Okay. They they would say or do anything to get in your pants, which is all it was. And any kind of, you know, physical connection, any kind of physical meetup, offer, whatever, encounter with this person was all about sex in nature, period. That's all they wanted, okay? I feel like this person was very deceitful with you. I feel like this person acted like they were very interested in you. That there was a lot of romance there. Blase, blase. Oh, you're so la, la, la. This and this and this. They flirted heavily. It was very charming. Um, I feel like they convinced you in some way, whether it was an emotional manipulation, mind manipulation, whatever the case, I feel like they, they made you feel that this was going to go somewhere and didn't. Okay? Um, I feel like... There is growth potential for you um, in yourself, not this connection, okay? And spirits might fucking throw me a curveball, but what I'm picking up and the energy I'm picking up is this is energy for you to move on from this connection. It's time to evolve and grow within yourself, okay? It's time for you to get a grip, heal your inner child, heal whatever this is that's, that's making you suffer in silence. Okay, I get it. There was a lot of passion with this person. A lot of sexual chemistry. Sparks like, like a motherfucker. Okay, that's why this person was so easily able to convince you to get involved. Okay, that is how this person is also able to hang on to you or get you to hang on to them. These, these sparks are powerful. Okay, this is just burning desire. So, does this person want to fuck your brains out? Absolutely, yes. This person's very attracted to you. You're very attracted to them. It's mutual, that part of it. But as far as emotions and love and actually wanting to be in there for the long haul, possibly commit and all those things, no. Okay, it's time for a new phase of your life so that you can move on and find somebody new, okay? Okay. But Sharon, we're going to get back together. We have a soul tie. This is my person. Blah, 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 blah. Honey, no, it's not. It's wishful thinking. This is not going to happen. And if it does happen, 
it's going to be where you fuck each other's brains out. And then it's going to be, thank you, slam, bam, thank you, ma'am, out. You know, and then you never hear from this person until they're ready to fuck you again. This is wishful thinking to think that you guys are going to make it happen for the long haul. Okay? It's deja vu. Again, this is going to be history repeating itself over and over and over as long as you allow it to happen. Okay? So, will this person come back? Yes. But for sex. Now, if you can handle turning off the emotions like I can, like I sex and, and love to me, I can separate the two. Emotions and heart shit, I can separate it. But not every woman is like me. Not every man is like me. Not everybody has this ability to be able to turn off their emotions and fuck. Okay? So, if you are not that person where you can turn off your emotions and just fuck, don't be involved with this person again. Because it's just going to cause you more heartache and all that shit again. And right now, you're still suffering in silence from the last go-round. You're still being antisocial, lonely, isolated, withdrawn from the world, feeling left out, feeling ghosted, all up in your feels. Why? Because this person took off and never talked to you again. Okay, it's time to smell the roses, wake up, smell the fucking coffee, you know, in the coffee cup. And realize that this is what's, what it is, okay? You need to rest, relax, and recharge your fucking batteries and really do some introspection and figure out why it is that you're hanging on to this person so tightly. Why? Why am I hanging on to this? Why, what about this person, okay, who ran from you, by the way, with their tail between their legs the minute love came out of your mouth? And don't tell me you didn't tell this motherfucker you love them. Don't tell me that. Yes, you did. And the minute that came out your mouth, this person was a like a like a feather in the wind. Gone. Okay, this person's toxic. This person will say and do anything to get what they want from you. Okay, this person is mentally abusing you and has been. This person controlled you, okay? They're very unpredictable. You have no idea when they're going to show up in your life. And when they do, they leave you with nothing but pain. And I ain't talking about the good kind of pain. Her so good. That's the good kind of pain. They'll leave you with that. But they're also going to leave you with heart pain because you cannot turn those emotions off. Now, I feel like there's a new opportunity on the horizon for you. However, you have to let this go first. Spirits are not going to allow you this new opportunity until you've fully, fully gotten over this shit. Why? Because they don't want you to go through this shit again. They don't want you to ruin something new going through this shit again. This toxic bullshit that this person puts you through. Okay? This negative drama, arguments, and all those things. So, heed my warning, honey. Listen, I get it. You envy anybody who this person's involved with. You want to compete with whoever they're involved with. It just makes you more motivated to want to date this person, want to get involved, want to try and win. Okay? Guess what? This person, when you get with someone new, that's how they're going to be. Because they can't get you whenever they want. And the same for you. Okay? I... I get it. You you cannot stop thinking about this person. Okay? I can't stop thinking. Why is this person always... There's signs and synchronicity. I'm seeing their name. I'm seeing their birthday. I just don't understand why. Why, 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 why? Because they don't reciprocate your feelings, baby. Other than wanting to fuck you. Let them go. I love you. Looking out for you, boo.